Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So I hope you're all doing well. So today we're going to be making chicken breast um, burger buns. So here I have 600 grams of chicken breast. So I think you can buy one or two breasts and uh, have them sliced thinly like these I've done, had done. So just get two chicken breasts totaling 600 grams and get them sliced thinly like this into thin, thin like burger-like thing strips. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put this in a bowl, wash them, make sure your hands are clean, and we're going to add our seasoning. Right, so for the seasoning, I have So we're starting with salt. I use onion salt in this, or you can use ordinary salt, sea salt. So you add about half to one teaspoon of onion salt. This is the one I got from Sainsbury's. They have a really good um, herbs and seasoning section, herbs and spice section actually it's called, and it's really good. They have good value herbs. So I'm adding about a teaspoon, a very level teaspoon of uh, onion salt. You can add more or less depending on how much salt you want. Then I'm adding one tablespoon of garlic granules. And then we have paprika smoked or ordinary paprika, it doesn't matter. So we're adding about half to one teaspoon of sm paprika smoked. Okay, this is about half a teaspoon. So you can even add one teaspoon if you like paprika, but I added half. Then I'm adding mint, which is just dry mint. I'm adding about half a teaspoon of dry mint. And we have some other herbs here. This is rosemary and oregano. So oregano, I'm going to add about half a teaspoon as well, just a sprinkling. And also a little bit of rosemary. Um, I think I'm going to add about a quarter of a teaspoon of rosemary. Just a little bit. You just need a little sprinkling of these herbs, rosemary and oregano. Okay. So what we do now is give that a mix. Make sure your chicken is well coated. Right, to this you can also add, squeeze in half a lemon, which I'm going to do. So squeeze in your half a lemon, give that a little mix. Right, to this, I think we're going to add a little bit of red chilli powder as well. So just add a tiny sprinkling of red chilli powder, like just a quarter of a teaspoon or even less. And of course you add a quarter of a teaspoon of pe black pepper as well in there. I don't have any, so there we go. Right, just let that heat up slightly. So what we're going to do is one egg we're going to beat with a fork. Another bowl we're going to have some flour, which is going to be our coating for our chicken pieces. Right, take a piece of chicken, dip it into the egg on both sides. And just give it a little shake and then place it into the flour and press it down with your finger and then turn it over and press it down press it well and cover it up with the flour a few times just keep turning it make sure the whole chicken piece is coated in the flour right when the oil is uh, heated up 
you take your chicken covered in the coating of flour and you place it in the pan. It should sizzle, that means the oil is hot enough. Now we're going to do this with all the other chicken pieces and let's see how many we can fit in our pan. So turn the heat a little bit higher to medium heat now. And you will see that the oil that you placed, the flour has soaked it all up, but don't worry too much. All right, so we're going to let this cook now for a few minutes on medium heat to brown one side. Try not to move it about too much and let that just sit there for two minutes. Next, I will say. So if it feels a little bit hard and crispy, you can start to turn it over very gently. That's soft, that's a little bit hard. Start turning it over. Those two I put last, so they'll require another minute. this stage add one just all the way around now keep the heat on a medium heat it shouldn't be low because we have to essentially make the coating brown So cook the other side for about two minutes too. Just turn the heat down a little bit. Oh no. Not so you can see how it looks. At this stage, we're not going to put the heat low. It has to be medium. Right, just keep flipping them over after two minutes again. Right. You mustn't touch them too much, otherwise the coating will definitely uh, come off. Poke it. No, it's not cooked yet. No. So you can see that the coating is nice and brown. This is the kind of colour you're looking for. 
so just keep it on medium heat and uh, let it cook two three minutes on each side I think will be fine always make sure your chicken is properly cooked so to check it you can put a knife in it and see if it's uh, soft these are quite thin uh, pieces so they will cook fast the thicker your piece the longer it will take to cook so that's why I prefer thin pieces but if you want to be extra careful, you can, which is what I'm going to do, is turn the heat to low and put the lid on for about five minutes. Let's see what happens. Essentially to cook the chicken properly. So, okay, we'll be back in five minutes to see what's happened to the chicken. Hi guys and welcome back. It's been five minutes now. So we're just going to have a look at our chicken. So let's see, just turn it over again, oh that looks nice, perfect, turn them over, okay this is how it's looking, so you can cook it essentially for about two minutes now on this side, let me just see if it's cooked, yeah it is cooked. But just to make extra sure, we're going to cook it on this side uh, for another two minutes on low heat. We'll be right back. Okay, so welcome back. It's been two minutes, a further two minutes on the other side. And um, the chicken slices are ready now. Um, always make sure your chicken is ready before you eat it. So, yes. Put a knife through it just to make sure it's very soft everywhere. Yep, that's fine. That's ready. These were thin slices, so they cooked fast. So let's dish out in our plate. So this is how they turned out. Very nice. And it smells really good too. I'll be making the rest of them like that as well. So do that with all the others. And you can enjoy them in, with, uh, in a burger bun with salad. You've seen the salad recipe that I posted. You can have it with that salad. Um, or you can have it in bread as a sandwich with uh, ketchup or other sauces. Okay, this is our finished product. Our lovely chicken slices, which are very versatile. Um, you can eat them however you like. You can even have them like this with some salad or with uh, some vegetables, um, anything that you like, and they're very delicious. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. Take care of yourselves and see you soon. Bye.